So I became a member um, in October of 2020. And, um, you know, I think it's one of the best decisions. Other than buying my house in the fan, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. I'm also very grateful that I could afford it. And um, that, uh, you know, I'll look at this as an investment in me. In Sally's and my situation, I said, you know, after about a 10 year period, Lakewood at home is a much better deal than long-term health care. I looked at uh, a local company that, that sells long-term health care, and uh, it's on their website, you can get very specific with zip code, and, and I pulled some information. And uh, in 2020, uh, the continuing care costs in the Richmond area, uh, you're looking at uh, a little over $9,600 a month, which is 115000 and change a year. And they project that in 10 years from now, that's going up to almost $12,000 a month which is going to be over $142,000 a year. And I don't know about you guys, but I'd, I'd hate to know that I was, you know, possibly facing that kind of, of financial uh, burden down the road. And, you know, from a financial standpoint, uh, everything after that is, you know, you're still paying for it, but it's actually uh, a savings because it's, you know, money in your pocket that the insurance company is not getting. And uh, so... We went ahead and, and uh, bit the bullet, wrote the check, and joined the program. And I'm just thankful to this day that we could afford to, you know, to write that check. Uh, I kind of looked at it, as, I, as Bill Lee will tell you, I said, this is my fire insurance program. Uh, I presume many of you own homes, and you have a fire insurance policy that you never want to use. And that was the reason I, I just figured if I don't have to use my fire insurance, I'm in good shape.